KP76 has got a real nice action. It's got a nice weighted feel, and the sounds and the action together are such that it's real easy to play. It's real easy for me to play and sort of get lost in the sounds. The sounds on here, so good. they just make you play the right stuff. If you're playing that trumpet, you forget what you're playing. Now you're a trumpet player, and in your mind, that's what those sounds make you do. Uh, may make your style change, and that's that's uh, a good thing for the keyboard to have. I guess the real way of putting it, if it's the sounds cheesy, you're gonna play that way, you know. If it sounds good, you're gonna play good. That's the way I do it. One of the nicest things about Insonic Gear and about Insonic as a company is that the company is based right here in the United States. It's a great support system to have when you're using using a piece of gear. The whole Insonic thing to me is easy to work. I can't stress that enough. Thanks and congratulations on your purchase of the KT. We're certain you'll find it a powerful and easy to use tool for expressing your musical creativity. Thanks also for your purchase of the EVS-6 instructional video. In this session, we'll teach you everything you need to know to begin making music with the KT, including selecting sounds, creating sequences, stringing sequences together to make songs, and saving your information. To get the most out of this video, we recommend that you situate yourself and your KT so that you can follow along on your keyboard as steps are demonstrated on the video. Also, if you have a PCMCIA RAM storage card, you'll want to have it available too. Toward the end of the video, we'll show you how to store data on it. If you don't have one, don't worry, you won't need it for most of the session. We'll begin our tutorial by reinitializing the KT. Reinitialization is accomplished by pressing the Edit Sequence Preset button, then the Upper 9 button and the Lower 9 button simultaneously. Do this now. Then press Enter Yes to carry out the command. This restores the internal sounds that were shipped with the keyboard and ensures that you're starting with a clean slate for our session. If you've already created your own internal sounds, sequences, or presets, be sure to save them to a storage card before beginning this procedure, as initialization will erase them. After reinitializing, the first sound that comes up is the KT Grand Piano. Take a moment to enjoy this realistic piano. Above the sound's name is information about its specific location. The letters R ROM mean that this sound resides in the read-only memory of the KT. ROM sounds are permanent and cannot be altered by the user. There are a total of 100 ROM sounds in the KT. Included in this bank are 20 drum sets, 10 in Sonic and 10 General MIDI. The 00 part of the display is the page number of the sound. Each sound is assigned a two-digit page number. One way to select sounds for playing is to enter their page number using the upper and lower screen buttons. This procedure is referred to as direct dialing. Go ahead and select some different ROM sounds by direct dialing their page number with the upper and lower screen buttons. Another way to select sounds is with the upper and lower value buttons.
Pressing the up value button takes you to the next higher page number and sound in the ROM bank. Pressing the down value button takes you to the next lower page number and sound within the bank. A third way to find sounds is with SoundFinder. SoundFinder allows you to quickly locate sounds of a similar type, piano type sounds, for example, with the push of a button. Let's select some sounds with SoundFinder. First, direct dial the KT Grand Piano by pressing the upper zero button and then the lower zero button. Now, press the right SoundFinder button once. The KT selects the sound piano and strings located on page 09. If you continue pressing the sound finder buttons, the KT will respond by locating other sounds of the same type, pianos in this case. To find other groups of similar sounds, simply locate a sound of the type you wish to find and then use the sound finder buttons to select other sounds of that type. So far, we've been selecting from among the 100 available ROM sounds. In addition to these, there are 80 more in a different bank called Internal Memory. Press the Bank button once to switch to this bank. Once you've done this, you can select sounds in the same way as you selected ROM sounds by direct dialing, using the upper and lower value buttons or using SoundFinder. Notice also that when you use SoundFinder, it will locate sounds of the same type regardless of what bank they're located in, internal or ROM. As you explored the internal and ROM sounds, you may have noticed that pages 80 through 99 contain drum sounds, and that these are the same in both banks. Drums are a special sound category in the KT. They're specially programmed to put the KT's full percussion power at your fingertips. Let's select some drum sounds. Press the upper 8 button and the lower 0 button to select the first drum sound. Rock Kit EM. Since the drum sounds are part of any bank you call up, there's no ROM or internal designation in the upper left corner of the display. Drum sounds have their own abbreviation, R Drum. In most drum sounds, there's a different instrument on every key of the keyboard. Play the highest key on the keyboard to hear hand claps. Play the lowest key to hear a punchy bass drum. Now, try all the keys in between. Select some other drum sounds in locations 80 through 99, and be sure to check out all the keys on the keyboard for each sound. There's a lot to hear. When you're done, press the upper zero and lower zero button to return to the KT Grand Piano. Now that you know how to find and select sounds on the KT, let's see how we can create variations on those sounds. We'll start by demonstrating some commonly used KT modulators. Press the bank button once to select the internal bank. Then, press the upper 7 button and the lower 9 button to select Tutorial Sound. Softly play a few notes.
See how quiet it is? Now play harder. The volume of tutorial sound changes as you play the keys with greater force. This is one example of a modulator. Another commonly used modulator is the pitch bend wheel, located in the lower left corner of the keyboard. Play a chord on the keyboard. While holding the keys down, slowly rotate the pitch bend wheel away from you. This modulator bends the pitch upward. Now do the same thing, only rotate the wheel toward you. In this case, the pitch bends downward. Located immediately to the right of the pitch bend wheel is the modulation wheel. Play a chord, and while holding it down, rotate the modulation wheel away from you. Notice how the breathy part of tutorial sound fades away and only the synth component remains. Return the wheel to its original position to restore tutorial sound to its original state. The modulation wheel can be assigned to modulate a wide variety of sound characteristics, including pitch, timbre, volume, effects, and more. Another commonly used modulator is keyboard pressure, or aftertouch. With tutorial sound still selected, play a note. Then, press down a bit harder. In this example, pressure adds vibrato and makes the breathy part of the sound swirl in stereo around your speakers or headphones. Vibrato is the most common use of the pressure modulator. But pressure can be programmed to do a variety of other things, too. For a detailed discussion about these and other modulators, see Section 5 of your Musician's Manual. The Transpose keyboard function, located in the upper right corner of the KT's front panel, gives you the ability to control the pitch that will be heard when the keyboard is played making it behave as if you had shifted your hands up or down the keyboard by the transposition amount. Very useful when you want to play a song in one key, but only know how to play it in a different key, or when the singer has limited range. Here's how to use it. Let's choose the KT Grand Piano. Press the Bank button, then press the upper zero button and the lower zero button. Play a brief C major chord on the keyboard just to get a sense of what it sounds like. After you've played the chord, hold down the transpose keyboard button. Continue to hold down the button and, while holding it, press the D just above middle C on the keyboard. You'll see a small light go on right above the D printed on the front panel. Let go of both the transpose keyboard button and the D on the keyboard. Now, play your C major again. What you'll hear is D major. 